We are at Hamilton Craft Studios today, and if you're an artist, or like me, an artist uh, wannabe, this is such an amazing spot. Dana is joining us, giving us a tour of this amazing facility. All I want to do is get my hands dirty in here. Easy. <laughs> no problem. Okay, let's get started on that. What are the different areas? Because there's different bays, there's different sections. I'm just wanting to get into all of them. Yeah, so upstairs we have textiles, we have uh, pattern drafting, we have a whole sewing bay full of industrial machines. We have a laser cutter bay. Okay. So we're just getting that sort of set up and started, but we will have lots of laser cutter classes uh, happening in the spring. Okay. Uh, and then we have screen printing, block printing, all the printing and painting and messy work in the wet studio. We have a full ceramic studio over here, so we've got your wheel bay, hand building, uh, spots for our emerging artists who mm -hmm. are all, you know, busy working on their projects. You've got full-time artists in here, and they artists. also do they art classes. They do. They teach. So we have classes in everything. Okay. So up here especially, we have ceramics, um, garment sewing, upholstery miniatures we're starting Cute. that yeah i got into miniature houses and now i'm teaching how to make miniature houses <laughs> it's amazing. a lot of fun and with that because we have this whole studio space we can make miniature pottery for our miniature house oh my goodness eventually we'll have mold making and so many more there's just it's endless this the, is an artist's dream it is, to be in here it's the kind of place where you get to do almost anything and i feel like a lot of this stuff is almost like a lost art a lot of people aren't practicing textile sewing anymore growing up you don't don't take those classes in school anymore. Yeah. You know, home ec doesn't really it exist. Doesn't exist. No, I didn't so, have it. No. And about five years ago, I made it a point to start sewing my own clothes. That's amazing. And I now have two garments maybe in my closet that I haven't made myself. That's incredible. That's just, it's been a journey, but I'm there now. And uh, now I'm not afraid I can sew anything. I made a baseball glove for somebody. Really? Yeah, I can oh, do okay. it all now. Well, I'm not gonna get that <laughs> crafty here, but I am gonna get my hands dirty on the wheel. We're going to do some pottery. All of that coming up. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be messy. It is going to be fun on Morning Live. Wheel throwing is where it's at at Hamilton Craft <laughs> Studios. Dana and I, well, she's going to kind of take me through the steps of how to make my own pottery. Now, Dana, I know you said that you were not a pottery ceramics teacher. <laughs> By all means, am I doing it right? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. That's straight off the bat. No. Nope. So you want to get your elbow in your leg. Okay. So that you see how nice and strong that is? Yep. Okay. So now that'll help you center. There you go. Wait, I have to use my muscles? You got to use all your muscles. Oh my gosh. This, this takes some more. Wow. This yeah. takes a lot of skill. Ghost made it look so easy. Yeah. Well, she was Tell a professional more. artist. <laughs> she did it. Uh, so, okay, here, switch. Okay. Take mine. Okay. I'll take yours. Why is it still going? Press down. Oh, it's like a car. <laughs> okay, we are switching seats here. Tell me about some of the classes that you guys offer here. We have a bunch of introductory ceramics classes. So if you haven't done it ever before, that's mm -hmm. where to start. Uh, we have hand building classes. So there's some pieces over there by one of our uh, instructors, Zoe Pinnell, who does incredible hand building work. Okay. She makes functional pottery by hand building as well, and uh, her classes are just uh, fantastic. And we are these for all ages, these classes? No, so we do mostly 18 plus, okay. um, but we do have March break camp, summer camp, PA days. We have a lot of kids after school programs, okay. and we're adding more and more. Uh, but the main focus here is really the membership. It's uh, making sure. <laughs> <laughs> Mine didn't look appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> All right, so here, stick your hand like this and press okay. down a little bit to flatten it. Okay. Okay, press, 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 and, and you're going to cup your right hand. Are you left handed? No, I'm right handed. Okay, so right hand like this. Okay. There Mine you doesn't go. look appropriate again. That's okay. And then press, and then that little center bit. Yep. Stick your thumb in it, find the middle, press down. Okay. Oh, it's there working. Yeah. I'm doing it. Yay. I'm making pottery. <laughs> Look at me go. Um, and the membership. Okay. Tell me like right. two seconds. Of, oh, we've got about 20 seconds. Okay. So the membership is a six month commitment to the studio. It's $550. You have access Monday to Friday up here from nine till nine and weekends nine to five. So you can come in 
work on clay, yeah. move over to the sewing bay, sew something for yourself. Oh. You have access to all of the machinery and tools and everything that we have for everyone. Well, I have to say, this has been so much fun. Uh, I really almost feel like I need to get into this as a hobby. Lots of things you can do. We're going to check out the second floor and we're going to check out my masterpiece when I'm finished. So don't want to miss that. <laughs> Rug tufting. Dana has graciously let me try it. It is just one of the bays they have here at Hamilton art studio, oh, oh, craft studios. Mm -hmm. And I'm really trying to get the hang of this, Dana. It's it's so much fun. It is. I'm not very good at it. Oh, you're doing really well. This but it's, is, uh, it's one of those kind of intuitive uh, practices where you just, once you get shown how, you can go to town. And there's somebody here that teaches the classes, correct? There is. We have Juliana teaching the classes. This is her medium. This is what she does. And she teaches an excellent class. We have these classes running almost every month right now. Okay. Uh, because they're so popular. See, it looks much better on this side that Liz is showing great. right now. Because back here, it looks kind of boring. Now, if I wanted to stop, I just let go. You just uh, stop, yep. I just let stop. go of the trigger, oh. pull it out. There you go. Okay. And you can fun. come and have a look at what you did. Wow. Yeah. I know how to make it's a great. rug. You do. That is super cool. Now, yeah. this is so this somebody's is, work of art. Yeah, this is somebody's work. This was her first class, and this is what she made. Okay, wait, her first this class? This is her first class. She made that? She did. Okay, she obviously has a lot more artistic ability than I do, and so, well, hence this my is, blurred lines. Well, she came with a plan. <laughs> she came with a plan, and she knew what she wanted to make, and that's what she did, it's and it's gorgeous. beautiful. And then this, we had this set up at Supercrawl this past year. Mm -hmm. uh, so people would come by the booth, the tent at, on James Street, yeah. and put a couple lines into the canvas, and this is what it made eventually. That's amazing. So this is a collaboration with all of Hamilton. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Well, this is certainly something I've never thought of doing myself, but now that I know and I can do it, I'm certainly going to recommend it to people and they say, oh, I really love art, but there's not a lot of places to go. This is so fun and it's so accessible. Anybody can do really well at this. This it's is great. amazing. Okay, we're going to head downstairs to the woodworking facilities in just a few moments, but thanks, Dana. This has been a ton of fun this morning. My pleasure. Well, we've made our way downstairs and we are in the woodworking area of Hamilton Craft Studios. Joe has been telling me about all the classes that are offered down here and now people shouldn't be intimidated coming into this space because I think I would be walking oh, in here. I, I believe it. It's a big space. There's lots of machines. It, you know, it wasn't so long ago that I was intimidated by spaces like this mm -hmm. and I remember it very well. And yeah. so all of the instructional staff and myself here are, are uh, dedicated to making sure that people feel comfortable, safe, and uh, are able to express themselves creatively. Uh, it's a supportive environment. Yeah, that's Exactly awesome. what I wish I would have had at the outset of my career in craft and design. Well, right, because it's not just for adults. You've got lots of kids programming as well, and they can make the cutest little things. And it's all about that creative expression that you say yes to, which is so cool. Of course, it's lovely to say yes. The creative impulse that a, that a kid has is uh, inspiring. And it's nice to be in a position where you can just say, go for it. You I know. think this is something I would, this is my speed right here. Yeah. This, me, tiny little, me too. <laughs> this tiny little bumblebee made out of wood and pipe cleaners. That's what I would make. So classes for adults, classes for kids. And if you have your own woodworking projects, you can bring them here. Absolutely. We'd love to have you. So do you rent the space out or is it kind of, you know, if I've got a table that I'm working on, but I just don't have the room in my garage anymore, what right, do I do? Right, right. It's membership based. Okay. So you pay a, a flat fee okay. for six months worth of access. You get a little storage space. You get access to the wood studio, the space upstairs as well. What about the classes? Is that included in the membership or are those separate? The classes are separate. Okay. Uh, but members get a discount on any classes that they'd like to take. Okay. So we get a lot of crossover. I'm taking the ceramics classes this uh, Are you this really? Winter. And I you am, just saw yeah. me upstairs try my luck at ceramic. And you can do stained glass. Absolutely. My mom used to love doing stained glass. She had the whole machine and everything set up in our kitchen. I never tried it, but I, now I'm kind of regretting it. Oh, well, you can always come here and give I, it a shot. <laughs> That's exactly what I should do. So we can build all this stuff. We can build cutting boards, again, probably my speed, but rolling pins. Yeah, our shaker step stool is one of the handiest objects you'd have in your home. It's amazing. One of my favorite 
objects to uh, to build. It's yeah. a lovely, lovely, uh, lovely object. I would probably build one and my legs would be crooked or something. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, not if I came here. But if you want to work on any kind of woodworking project, if you have your own at home, if you want to get your kids involved, if you don't have a creative outlet like myself, but your kids do, this is certainly a place to check out Hamilton Craft Studios. Thanks so much for having us, Joe. You are most welcome. Great time here.